would you feel if your girlfriend walked in on me and you in the pool? I mean, it's a pool. That was a bad. Like, <laughs> the real Nigerian scam is that they still making the movie. Like my mama always taught me, no thoughts on my life. Your host. What? What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Burger Heart Podcast. I am your host, the one and only Des Burgers, joined by my co host, the- Sharpay. <laughs> I can't do it. Stop looking at me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, while this crackhead's being a crackhead, how's everybody's week? Let's talk to the audience. How was your week? Good, good, good. Wait, say the guy can hear. Louder. <laughs> <laughs> like Dora, bro. bro. We the door we the door of podcasts, are, bro. Our audience is very young. How was your weekend, Thomas? It's very cool. We always say weekend, but they don't see this till Friday. So let's just say how was your let's start saying how was your week? How was your week? Yeah. Okay. How was your week? It's very dope. I didn't do anything. You always <laughs> like I be I be I swear, bro, I throw you the ball. And you just fumble it every time. Only bro. because like I don't. You gotta talk about. I gotta think back to stuff I did two days ago. Bro, I don't remember what I did yesterday. Come on now. Well, my week was good, bro. I'm tired. Yeah. Somebody I'm smashed into your car. Somebody somebody smashed into his car. Uh, somebody smashed my old car. I don't really care. I mean, I care, but I don't. <laughs> hey, you flex it so much. Yeah, that's my old car. It's the Buick. Like. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a game. That is not a flex, bro. That old joint. That old joint. That old joint said that's a flex, bro. Yeah, it's just the old one. I don't really care about anyway, it. Anyway. Yeah. I ain't going to claim it. I ain't going to put a claim on it, bro. Nah, yeah. It's, um, my week was cool, though. My week was cool. I mean, even though you didn't ask, I'm still tell you. But <laughs> <laughs> my week was cool. I'm, I'm, I'm very tired. I am. But um, I'm about to chill tonight. I think I'm probably going to do like some laundry and watch a movie. Dang. We went housewife so. mode. Now I'm just gonna pour a glass of wine. Do some laundry. That's not, that's not housewife mode. Housewife mode. Like housewife mode is what I do in the mornings, bro. I be taking all these kids to school. No, that's fact. When I take Mosh to work, that's housewife. When I just take the kids, that's cool. But you, every time I take Mosh to work, I always gotta just do something for my mom or my sister too. So mm. it, that's when they become housewife. I'm like, oh my gosh, bro. I drove for the first three hours of my day. Yeah, you got but to do yeah. a doctor's appointment. I'm doing doctor's appointments and stuff. But I got driving that hot car. I got driving the old car. Because mm. Maj got my, uh, I don't want to have to take her to work. Because I would have to, I would have to bend, bend her to pick her up. Mm-hmm. So I got to take the old car, bro. That joint. I don't mind driving. It drives nice. I really do. There's no air. Don't mind. It's just no air, bro. In the so, summer. In the summer, bro. When it's winter time, I drive that car any day. I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. When that when that air that air start talking to my talking to my spirit, bro. <laughs> you gotta get one of them USB C fans, bro. Just put that thing in. Heck no, bro. <laughs> Miss that. There you go. That joint is canceled out by them heat waves, bro. <laughs> them, that Las Vegas heat will cancel out every single hot air, every single blade of that fan, bro. Got yeah. Right, all the hot water. Is processing is processing that hot air and blowing it harder, bro. Yeah. Now I got hot hair blowing every twice, like. <laughs> This didn't do nothing for me, bro. That's sad. You heard about the um the, hey, wait, the situation with what what? Can you take her car? I was, I mean, can you just take her car? Where's she at? That's right? Yeah. Michaela took her car. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get on my mom about that. I'm like, oh, so y'all let never mind. We're not gonna talk about that on the pod, bro. Uh-huh. But yeah. Like, y'all left me here. Segway. You know what I'm saying? Segway, what's segue? Yeah, so that's what I was saying. You heard about that uh Joe Biden situation, bro? <sighs> no. The black community. Okay, wait. Can I even say the black community? I don't even think that's that's fair to say. I'll just say this. America is pressed because Joe Biden has promised to fight against everybody who took advantage of the PPP loans uh, when they came out. I don't know what y'all thought was going to happen. Yeah, bro. So that's, that's, I think that could be just the end of the conversation right there. What did y'all think that was going to happen? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching the podcast. <laughs> right. This is a warning. Like, this is a warning. Like, what did you think was going to happen, bro? But no, let me tell you. The couple sections was press, okay? They in there. They like, this is why I didn't vote for him. Or this is why I shouldn't have voted for him. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Hold on. <laughs> That's hilarious. Bro. This is why I shouldn't have voted for him. He focusing on the wrong things. It's all this stuff going on in the world. He want to focus on... Man, you wasn't saying that, but it wasn't you. That's like <laughs> they know they going to jail. Now they mad at them. Like <laughs> that's like one robber getting mad at the other robber because he got caught. Yeah, man. <laughs> you should not defense. I have defense, bro. Like 
<laughs> I'm like, bro. They really was going off of my man's in the conversation. Like, they were on his head. Like, uh, 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 he's wasting our resources. He's wasting our tax money on trying to find these people. These are normal class, working class bro, people. He's trying to get the tax money back. Bro, <laughs> he like, hey, yo, this... This is not good that everybody, you know, took uh, took advantage of the government. We're going to fight against this. They like fight against it. Fight against it. See, he he was not for the people. I should have known. That's the issue. He's that's not the for issue. the people. I stole and what about it? I got away with it. Why are you trying to cut back down? Uh, if anything, I was Robin Hood. Right. I was the Robin Hood. You the dude that you the opposite. Dude. No, what is bro, what is what is literally like is is like when you at school and you and you getting into trouble, like you you with your friend, the dean walk up. And now both of y'all in trouble. And you mad at him for getting in trouble with you. You mad at the dean for getting you in trouble. But why would you come and catch me smoking weed in the bathroom? <laughs> why would you come and do that? This, see, that's your problem. Right, you they, need to, do? they need to fire you. You're supposed to be deaning. And you're over here walking around. Pause. No. Different example. This is what it's literally like. This is what it's literally like. When kids be at school and wear stuff they know they're not supposed to wear. And, and they just they go off with a dean. Why are you tripping on me? Why are you tripping on me? It's because I have a body. Because I have a body now, I can't wear what I want to wear. I see your boob. It's on your boob. You first of all, forget trying to fight the law. Forget trying to change the world. You knew this was a rule before you wore that. You knew this was a, forget. Forget whether or not it's an okay rule. You knew it was a rule. You made a joke about it on Facebook. Yo, bro. You be walking around like, yeah, I wear this to school. Tell your staff story. I bet I won't get caught. You get caught now. You mad? You knew what it was. You knew what it was. <laughs> oh, bro. So bro. they tripping. So they tripping on Joe Biden. They tripping on Joe Biden. Mm -mm. But um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you got they say the two year search to a ten year search. Yeah, everybody going. Yo, everybody cousin, going. cousin Ray Ray. The BB, only thing, the only reason I'm thinking it's kind of the only reason I'm thinking it's kind of crazy though is like five years later, I, they knocking on my door. They open up, it. and they, you know what I'm saying. Over a 30k loan that I got, but a lot of them they they got these loans and they broke now they can't even pay it back. I'm gonna be real though. If I would have got that twenty five thousand dollars, I would have been paying it back easily. Cause I would have flipped that joint so smooth, bro. But they was over you, there you, Gucci bags. You like, bro? You ride the bus. You ride the bus, and I'm saying nothing wrong with the bus, but I'm just saying you ride the bus. And now you all of a sudden own a LLC called Treats by Tamika, and y'all make three hundred k a year, and you employ sixty five people. You was, you was on the bus last week. It, bro, here's, here's where y'all should have known it was a scam. There are legitimate businesses who have been trying to get funding for years. The government is ignoring them. You come over here, treats by Tamika. You talking about some, I make 300K a year. We were on track to make 450 this year, so we need to make up for that in this PPP, PPP loan. And they gave it to you within six weeks processing, and you was never like, hmm, this might be a setup. You was just like, I'm going to take the money. <laughs> you was just like, oh, I'm going to just take it. Bro, there is a legitimate businesses who have not been able to get funding forever, and they just gave it to you. They didn't check your bank statements really like that. Like, bro, people, people were on Facebook talking about some, who need the loan? DM me. This is kind of a sidebar, and I don't want to get too off topic, but mm -hmm. do you know what a, um, I can't think of what it's called, but you know there's a number that people will, will, will sell you that acts as a fake social security number? Yeah. And I can't think of what the name is called, bro, but I only learned this from being in real estate. Somebody mm -hmm. was talking to me and they probably saw me as the homie. They telling me about their scam. They was basically telling me they was from the scam and I was going to help them get into a house from scamming. But when I tell you, I felt dumb because I was like, okay, I didn't even know they was scamming, bro. They was, they was like, I just got my new, I got to, I should have Googled the number five, but it just came on my mind. I would have Googled the number, what it's called, but let's, let's just call it the DNS number or whatever. Yeah. They're like, oh, I got my DNS number. Like, it, you know, I just got it right now. Let's get into it. I'm like, I don't know what they got to do with, you know, you, you, do you have bank statements? Like, I don't know what the uh, DNS got to do with it. But they was like, hinting like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, "What do you? Yeah, what? Like, talk to my loan officer." They was like, "Yeah." So then I put it. I started googling. And I put it together. My man's just finessed somebody to get into a luxury apartment. He didn't. He, I'm like, "Y'all know this is fraud, right?" They're like, oh, "I'm just changing my bank statements." I'm like, "That's fraud. Okay. Like, that's Change literally like that's that's fraud." And but they doing it just to get into luxury. They're like, "Who making three times rent?" I'm like, "Uh." Financially responsible people. What? Like, I'm not saying. You know what I'm saying. It, it's one thing if you can't make. Everybody deserves a house. I'm not saying that. But you talk about some who make it three times rent. I can afford twenty five hundred dollars a month. You really can't. 
You you really can't. You just you know you'd rather struggle. You you know what I'm saying? You, mm. you 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 like getting the EBT but having a nice house. Like that doesn't make sense to me. I don't I think priorities are backwards. Hey, I, I promised I was not supposed to be a, a, a segue, but that really does transition us into the next topic. So apparently, poor people are scared to shop on a budget because oh a grocery gosh. store changed the packaging on their reduced cost items to a bright yellow color. Don't say black people ain't including this. We've been, we've been getting great value since 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 it came out. We that was not my care. main point, bro. Make it red, make it yellow, make it purple. What the frick do the color got to do with anything, bro? You can bro. put a big neon sign that said poor people only. And we still going to be that thing like, yo, this is yeah, us, this is this us, 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 bro. Us. Like, I promise everybody was asking me, like, aren't you embarrassed when I had said, I said, oh, my sister got her EBT card. It was the first. I'm like, hey, I'm finna go get my EBT, you know what I'm saying? Go get some snacks. Oh, my God. And on my, on my tip of my sister, like, Yo, like we was cool at that time with my with mm-hmm. my family. Like my sister lived on her own, and she had. And I don't think in that situation, I think that's the main situation that you need the government assistance on. It's like you had just moved you out, just started. You know what I'm saying? You getting it, you getting it together. So like, what I'm gonna be embarrassed for? But everybody is thinking like, nah, you you do you never seen that meme? I just got my EBT and I'm about to go eat buying stuff I don't eat because I feel like it's for free. Hey, come on. That was a, <laughs> that was an anthem of my childhood, bro. We was in there with Takis all up in the back because yeah, it was cool. Funny. You know what I'm saying? We probably was taking advantage of the system. I ain't going to hold you. But we did. it ain't as bad as these PPP, PPP loan. Yeah, get them. The get PPP them. thieves. Get we got to go for the name. Right here, PP on. Pirates. PP Pirates. The PP Pirates. That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> only, because, only because it can be misconstrued or some crazy stuff. PPP Pirates. <laughs> Them dang PPP Pirates. We better than the PPP Pirates, bro. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It was just $60 a month. Those were some talkies. Like, they stole $30,000 from the government. Like, yeah, we bought what we were supposed to buy. And they mad, got bro. Gucci bag. I'm like, but the, it's kind of a government fault, though. This guy, like, I'm like, man, this this girl never got a car. Yeah, you give her yeah, you a, a $30,000 load. That background check was terrible. It was a setup, bro. We were on track to make $300,000. I don't think it was a background check, bro, because I know people that got it. And man, I'm like, housing. We, we yeah. Have all, we have all your we, right I'm here. like, we already had your information from the EBT line. Right. Why are you telling me that, you know, you $50,000 short on a year? No, you're not. You wasn't going to make no money yeah. this year. Like, like, if anything, you shouldn't be making, you shouldn't be in housing if you're right. making that okay. much money. Bro, it was like, literally, it's like, okay, so we give you this load, we take you off housing. Like, which one you want, yeah. bro? You can't, there ain't no way you got both. Yeah, no. Like, what are these forms is a lie? But they didn't check that mess. They didn't check that mess because I know some people who got the loan and they was on housing. That's a joke, but it's not a joke, bro. They, they just finesse the system. And so I'm thinking, like, now they want to come in, and it, there is no, oh, we're going to crack down on this because they took advantage. No, it was a setup. They knew what they was doing. Yeah. They knew what they was doing. They know they're going to make more money this way. They know they're going to make more money this way, bro. Yeah. America profits off being in debt. <laughs> That's how America makes its money, by not having none. <laughs> so they was like, okay, how could we do that better? Well, we're going to set it up, which is pretty sad. But we're not, well, how do we go back? Topics. Oh, because we were talking PPP about the, pirates. the PPP pirates, bro. The PPP pirates. Yeah, okay, they the type that, that, you know what I'm saying? You you fraud in on your bank statement so you can get into a luxury apartment, but you still off EBT. Your priorities is backwards. Your priorities is backwards. You can live in a luxury apartment, but why you still got EBT? Just get your money right. Get Stay yeah, in the apartment that you don't want to stay in. Get your money right. And I promise you can have whatever you want in life, sweetie. You can have whatever you want in life. Dez, yeah, the motivational speaker. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here practicing. That's D. But I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think these guys, I think these guys just need to take what they're going to take, bro. How you poor and picky? That's white people, bro. How That's you not, How you broke I'm, and bougie? If I'm, if I'm correct, I think that I was in the, U, in the UK. But I don't know where I read that up. But I think it's oh, okay. in the UK. But that's white people, bro. That's yeah, white. bro. How That's, you poor and picky? Uh-uh. Like, let me see. Let me see. I got to read the tweets. I got to read the broke tweets. Broken bougie. Broken bougie. Right, I'm gonna come up it. with another. Um, Not bad at bougie. Alliteration. Um, 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 um. How you a broke bougie bum? Yeah, broke and bougie and, and bum. <laughs> um, how you unstable and ungrateful? Wait, that, we kind of go. Oh, that was good. Come on, I'll go with these off, off the top, bro. Key, we kind of going backwards. Now we really making fun of the poor people. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you gonna have, bro, it's just like uh. if if. It's like somebody being embarrassed. To, okay, okay, here, 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 here. It's like it's like when when fat kids wear a shirt in the pool to cover their titties, and it's like, well, why do you wear a shirt? Well, I don't want kids thinking I'm fat, but but you are, and you still look fat. 
<laughs> you still clearly like, look fat that's with a white the shirt on, bro. He still see your titties, like. That's how you look. I know people who used to, uh, back in the hood, they used to paint their EBT cards. I'm like, well, no. now you're like, you got a raggedy debit card. It's like, well, what broke bank you got that card from? Because <laughs> they sold you that card, bro. I'm he like, said paint your EBT yeah, with cards. Yeah, with fingernail polish, bro. That's I've wild. seen that before. I've seen that before. It's just because it's, it's people being embarrassed. People being embarrassed. Yeah, and I'm bro. just like, and, I, and I'm going to be honest, bro. This might be a hot take. But I think people are only embarrassed to be broke when they don't think that they can do better. Mm. Because if I'm at this low place and I know that I have more coming for me, I'm not scared to look like I'm in this place. Because it's, it's temporary. I got more coming for me. But when you in this place and you know you're going to be in this place for a while, you're like, ah, I got to look like I got more. Mm. You know you're going to be on food stamps for a while, so why not be in a luxury apartment while you live in, you know, bumming it? But if you know you finna get up, you you cool with, okay, I'm living in a studio apartment and I'm on food stamps. Why? Because I'm finna get up. I'm finna, I'm, 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 I'm up. It's going upward in a minute. It's going upward in a minute. I might be here for six months, a year, two years. Right. I'm going upward like the price of gas. Come on. Stream it. It's streaming on all platforms right now. Hold it on. Hold it on. Come on. I'm good. Nah, but now. Did you see it? Is it in? What? The the tweets? Well, I thought you were looking up UK. No, I was looking at Oh, well, what are you looking at? Regardless of where it's at, you just. It's, it's crazy white, white people. Because I'm looking at this, bro, and it, it really don't seem like poor people. It really don't seem like poor people is tweeting this. Yeah. It seems like it's activists that see this change yeah. and trying to go hard for them. So it's a, another wrote, since the cost of living, since the cost of living crisis, I've noticed the supermarkets like Asda have changed their home and packaging into bright yellow. It almost feels like Asda is taking the piss out of the cost of living crisis as well as us poor people. <laughs> he said, that's us. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> come on now. Sir, no. As us poor people having to buy the bright yellow brand, as we cannot afford the, be- the to buy the better. I'm like, bro, this don't make no sense, bro. What no, I don't understand about activists. these types of what I don't understand about these types of activists, though, I call them, I call them uh, social media saviors. Uh, what I don't understand about that type of person is, you know, that's that that's their company, right? Like they can do whatever they want with their company. You're like, well, we're forced to buy. No, you're not. You're not. You can go to Walmart, Kroger. You can go to 99 cents store. You can go to 99 cents. There's so brave. many places, bro, that you can go. You chose to go to Asda. I don't even know what it is. So it can't be that no, good. Bro. It can't be that good, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and <laughs> that's like being mad at Whole Foods. Whole Foods is not affordable. So I don't like that company. It's no, not for you, they, bro. It's not for you, bro. I wonder if they mad at a... <laughs> I wonder if they mad at like Dr. Thunder the same way they mad at these yellow packages. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I think the point, the reason they like Dr. Thunder is because it looks like, I don't want to start preaching right now, but they like Dr. Thunder because it looks like the original. Mm. They, that's they so deep. Fake Gucci bag. Bro, that is so deep. They'd rather wear fake Gucci that looks like Gucci than to wear a Walmart brand that's actually higher quality. They'll wear a cheap fake Gucci bag before getting a higher quality Walmart bag. Because even though it's worse, it looks like it's better. Bro, that's deep. That's deep and that's real though. Like it's not even just some analogy. Like that's real talk. That's really what these guys want. That's really They're okay crazy. with Dr. Thunder. They're okay with with the uh not off brand no more, but you know, Sierra Mist used to be like the off brand. They're yeah, okay RC with that Cola. RC Cola because it looks like the, yeah. the packaging looks like it. It yeah, don't no. it don't make you feel like you out of place. You'd rather look successful than be successful. You'd rather look like you got it than to actually have it. Preach, oh my gosh, preach. bro, that's insane. Text Terry right now. <laughs> Let's Terry know right now. What you just, bro, preach is on Sunday. So what this what this kind of feel like is those people that be talking about the poor people. They kind of sound like you know they on the on that progressive like I don't know if it's like socialist. I don't know if it's like some other stuff. They on that kind of side of it. And it feels okay, like yeah. they it, it feels like in the in the offhand way that they don't mean to do. They kind of support the big corporations. Well, I don't. It feels like it. I don't know. I don't in, a, in a weird way. But what I don't understand is, okay, here's where I am, bro. I do believe, and this is more of a socialist view. I do believe that everybody deserves food. That's that's that's, that's a socialist view. I wish I was a worldview, but I believe everybody <laughs> deserves to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I believe nah. everybody deserves to have a meal. Where I disagree with these Negroes is I don't believe everybody deserves filet mignon, steak, and lobster. No. That don't make no sense. Now, when we talk about luxury, I worked for this for this accolade. I worked for this platform, this opportunity. I worked for it way harder than you did. You're a bum. But that does not mean you deserve to be hungry, though. Yeah. You don't deserve to starve. That's why I don't get what they're saying, bro. I'm like, hey, they added something in the Whole Foods is not adding a low-cost section. No. Whole Foods is throwing away their old food. We realize that, right? We realize how much 
these companies waste. They mm-hmm. waste it. But as they're like, you know what? We're gonna we're able to make this lower cost. Say, hey, that bread was much. We're not gonna put it on the top shelf, so we're gonna just repackage it and sell it for a lower price. And y'all like, but why would you repackage it though? I want to look like I got the real Wonder Bread, but you did it. But, bro. but you did it. <laughs> That's like literally saying, hey, I know we go to McDonald's, but can you put it on a plate? <laughs> That's Woody Elman Donald on the plane. This. You gotta stop this. <laughs> oh, you gotta stop this. Oh, we, oh, we, oh, we. You gotta bro, stop this. You come, <laughs> ooh, you come home and you put your, <laughs> you put your big chicken in your small value fry on a plate. <laughs> you put, put it on the, the fine china, bro. Yeah, bro, you put it on your fine china. You got a candle in the middle. You cut you you your Big Mac. <laughs> you're not even your Big Mac. You got the big chicken, chicken bro. You cut it with your plastic Yo, knife and fork. <laughs> Mm. Thank you. <laughs> you put your phone. Bye bye, baby. Oh my, oh my god, bro. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Those sorry. Are people that go to McDonald's. It's somebody right now. It's, it, is, it, is, it is somebody right now watching this podcast doing that, and they looked up like, "Hey, yo, oh, come on, what's now. Wrong? come on, they dropped their whole play like they bad." <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's what this is like, bro. They won't, they want the poor stuff, but they like, but don't make it look poor. Don't make, make it look, it look poor. make it look good, bro. I'm like, bro. Come on now. Do what you gotta do. No, that's funny though. That's funny. That's funny. Though. Okay, here, here, here. We move it on. We move it on. We cannot stay there too long, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. So if you had to put down your pet, but you had to work, would you change the date or just not go to work? I'm not going to work. If I had to put down my pet, I'm not going to work. Hey, I'm not like going that? to work. I'm not going to work. Because here's the thing. It's an emotional thing. But- Ain't you had like five of your animals died this year though? <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell hey, me you're that hey, emotionally attached to these guys. I'm not. Like, but I'm gonna use that as an excuse. You can't. <laughs> you can't tell me, nah, bro, nah. Putting down your your family pet. Like, what if I had this hamster for a, a couple years? What if like this is my emotional support hamster? I'm sad. No. <laughs> no, no, but no, 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 no. no. But the, the situation that we're talking about specifically is this woman. All right, let me just read the tweet. Where you go? This woman had to put down her dog. Yeah. And she let her boss know, hey, I need somebody to cover for me. I already got somebody to cover for me for those days. Uh, I'm about to put no, my no, dog. wait. No, 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 no. That ain't what happened. All right, let me just read it. Let yeah, read, read it. it. We're going to put it up on the screen, but right, we're yeah. going to read it for the, for the yeah. listeners. The caption, that time my boss asked me if I could change the day I put my dog down for a hat. Oh, Starbucks. Oof. Now, Starbucks been in some trouble for hey, the past six years. On. Starbucks have had a rough go at it. I'm, I got to take some notes. All right. So, all right. Um, where is it? Where's the text? Where's the text? Where's the text? Where's the text? All right. The manager, the manager texts, hey, any chance you can work from 1.30 to 3.30 today? She goes, hey, I'm sorry, I'm in class in that time. I was like, oh, I'm in class at that time and I forgot to respond. She goes, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm trying to find coverage for my Sunday shift. I have to put my dog down on Saturday night and I will be an absolute mess. She's my best friend. I'm just letting you know ahead of time, I'm going to text some people and see if they can help out. So completely understandable. <laughs> hey, I'm about to go and kill my dog. Who has been the family, bro, my best friend for years. Bro said, I'm really going to need you to find coverage. I just said I was. Anyways, I'm going to really need you to find coverage. I understand it's a tough situation, but you have plenty of, but you have had plenty of notice. So it's not going to be approved if you don't come in. Is there any way you could do it on a night where you don't work the next day? She goes, I'll do my best to find coverage. I'm sorry if this is inconvenient, but it's the family dog and she's very sick and it's what my family has decided to do. I can't reschedule when I put my dog down for Starbucks. This is also me putting in my two weeks officially. I've worked for this company for two and a half years and I appreciate what it's done for me, but I'm ready to move on. She took, first of all, she took that like a champ. She was very professional, email mode, corporate style. But bro, we just talked about this actually. What we did? Me and you just talked about this. I'm trying to think of when it was, but I said no, it wasn't. It was me and Maja. Actually, I told mm-hmm. Maja. I said, I said, people always think. I don't think I was talking about. Ever, I, I was talking about all you guys mm-hmm. to Maja, but I was like, people might say that I'm harsh, but I think that the reason a lot of people grow from being around me is because I'm probably like the harshest you can get before getting like narcissistic, mm-hmm. and I think it's like. That's probably good for those around me. It's like, yo, if somebody's more harsh than I am, they're probably a narcissist. I'm sure there's people out there who are more harsh than I am, but they're most likely narcissists, most <laughs> likely, right? And so I think that the way that I operate 
is a is a pretty like strong even on myself like I'm pretty hard on myself when I mess up and stuff like that. But I don't be narcissistic. I don't gaslight you, right? I was just talking about that, but I th- I I think and I'm pretty sure we have varying opinions on this. Really? Yeah. All right. So all right. Mine is was well, probably video. Mine is I have this kid. I'm letting you know ahead of time that I'm about to put my dog down. Uh huh. And I'm emotional about. It. I'm gonna be sad. All right. But people don't look at, at a dog as the same way they mm-hmm. look at humans. Mm-hmm. But like, nigga, I'm still putting down my, my dog. Like, right. re- so regardless just, of what it is. So I, the, the basis of my opinion is who had what scheduled out first. Mm. This isn't my dog died. I need the day off. This isn't my grandmama died. I need two days off, three days off. This is my dog is going to die in three days. We just decided this today. It wasn't three days, it was like two days, bro. It was like it was like minimal notice. It was minimal notice. Mm. And it's like, bro, this schedule been out. Starbucks scheduled it. And I don't know about that store, but Starbucks and places like that, they scheduled they week, they, they three weeks out. You mm. had your schedule for almost a month. And you decided to choose that day. I'm like, I'm with dude. Like, <laughs> hey, you can't choose a different day. You went in there, they was like, hey, we gotta put the dog down. What's your calendar look like? It's like, ah, I'm free on Friday. No, you're not. You work on Friday. You was in there scheduling when you knew you had your schedule. You know what I'm saying? Mm. For one, for two, you've been there for two and a half years and, and you ain't never seen no, this was not the first telltale sign. This was not the first red flag. Mm. So either you capping or you need to uh, uh, upgrade your red flag radar. Because I know he didn't show and sign. If this is how he is, you know that's how he is. Mm. Whether it's a red flag in a negative way or it's just how he is as a person and you don't like, you guys di- disagree in that you know aspect, you should have known. It'll take two and a half years to learn that. So I'm like, bro, she came on here tripping. But that <laughs> the caption made me realize, bro, when people start adding unnecessary information to make their story sound more traumatic than it actually mm. is, bro. Like when somebody died, they'd be like, man, I just see him last week. I just, why that matter? That don't make the dying more sad. He that, still died. Yeah. But because you just seen him, it make it more dramatic. Or they'd be like, he broke up with me. The day before, the day before, the day after, a week before my birthday. <laughs> and I'm like, what, what does that guy do to anything? He's not gonna break up with you. They be like, he broke up with me exactly two months before Christmas. <laughs> oh my gosh, exactly two months? No! October 25th? No! <laughs> like, that makes the story more dramatic. Like, I'm dead. people love, I don't know if that's something that my brain noticed, but people love adding unnecessary information. <laughs> I'm so sorry that make it more dramatic. That's hilarious. But yeah, I mean, I'll say, off top, so these jobs don't care about you. That's right. These jobs don't care about you. So what you trying to, you know what I'm saying, care about them for? Yeah. Well, I will say, if I was in that situation, I don't really care about animals. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I had a dog that died. I'm uh, probably not going to care about a dog the same way I care about that dog. Because I had that dog since I was a baby. But yeah. regardless, bro, like, I don't. I'm, if I have to put my dog down, I'm going to be like, yo, can we do it on a day that I'm not off? I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I probably wouldn't even go. Yeah. <laughs> I probably wouldn't even go to the put down. Yeah, I mean, it's a dog. Like, I have my memories. I got pictures. We people, people just trying to make stuff so, so dramatic. I, yeah. I think, too. But, I, I, but and then again, like, I feel like she's a she's a female, bro. So, of course, she's going to have a, a stronger emotions towards yeah, towards it. So, she's going to be a mess. You I, feel me? You I don't think even to work it, I, I think even if it was a, even if it was a guy, it'd probably be the same scenario, though. Yeah. I'm going to have the same opinion, regardless of the gender. Yeah. Regardless of how connection you are. Like, I... I I think it's the fact that it's something scheduled. It's not that the dog just died and I need the, this. Hey, my dog just died three hours ago. I need two night off. That's different. That's a complete difference than, mm. hey, we schedule my dog to be put down on the day I got to work. Well, you can't put a different day. I ain't going to hold you, bro. Can I say this on the podcast? Okay, I'm going to say it. Yeah, fine. It's going to yeah. be some good. Hey, clips. Hey, get your cameras out. Nah, it ain't, nah, this, ain't that type, this ain't that type of clip, bro. Come on, bro. This reminds me of you. <laughs> this reminds me of you. This is, this is something that you would do. That's why why you agree. It's really something that you would like. When I read that, I was like, "Yeah, that's good." It reminded me so much of. I'm like, "That's Thomas, dude." So I was like, "Ah, some came up." And, it, and then it's a situation that you'd be kind of feeling bad. Like, well, day is like that's pretty deep. Like, I'm gonna feel bad if I say, "Oh, cancel your dog's funeral." You know, I'm, I'm gonna feel bad. But in real talk, you was unorganized. Like, you yeah. know, you was. So now you can flip the script. Now I gotta be a bad guy. Now I gotta be the bad guy because you didn't do what you supposed to do. Like you, ma'am, you had this schedule for three weeks. That's crazy. You you chose the date. You could have. She probably was off the next day. And even then, she said, "I'm putting my dog down this night. I need the morning off though. I'm gonna be crying still, ma'am. You better get over it. You, with how much time do you need off? That's funny. Let's talk about that. How 
How much time is the appropriate time? Oh, oh, what should I say? What is the appropriate amount of time to take off to grieve after your dog died? How much did a job allow you to take off? I mean, honestly, me personally, I'm not taking no days off. I don't need to, bro. I don't need to, yeah. The dog died. Hey, if you, was a, if you was a, if you was a, 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 a high functioning um, employee, some somebody like an engineer or or an on call, like an, a surgeon, somebody who's really needed, would you be like, my dog died? It was gonna die in three days, so I need to take off. They're like, yo, I got a tumor. <laughs> ah, it's been in there for three years. What's another day going to do? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you about to just take off for your dog, bro? That's funny. That's not funny. Like, are they, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, I'm not a surgeon, but I know for me, I, even the work that I do, it's not nothing demanding. It's not as demanding as a surgeon, but I'm going to still edit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to still knock my stuff out, bro. Yeah, I can't come do your I party do when my hamster died. <laughs> I just, I think what I learned, though, is that you just can't do what you do to please the company. Mm-hmm. But there's a difference in pleasing the company and handling your responsibilities. Mm. When you die, ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody gonna praise you for it, bro. So I remember the day I got into my accident, I immediately text. This is when I learned this. This is the day I learned this. I immediately text everybody I had to do. I had three gigs that day after I got into the accident. I had three places I had to be. I texted everybody immediately. I'm talking. I checked on Maj, checked on people, called my mom, and uh, I really just called my mom real quick. Said, told her what happened and I let her know where I was at. I hung up and texted him immediately, bro. Like immediately, and it, it clicked. I'm like. Ain't nobody gonna care. Ain't nobody gonna care that you could have died, but you still thought to t- to let them know. Ain't nobody gonna be like, dang. There are people who will. I'm one of them. I'm. If somebody did that to me, I'm gonna be like, dang. You almost died, and you took the time to hit me up. Let's go to dinner. Let me treat you. I I, I appreciate that. But it, real talk, majority of the world is not like that. And when I say majority, I mean like 98, percent 99 percent of the world is not like that. What did they say when they hit you back? They was like, oh man, I hope you're okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't like that's a negative. Right. Bruh, come on now. You yeah. gotta be here three hours. Ah, bro, I need piano. <laughs> oh, it's I, the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't like that. But they wasn't on no like they was just like, oh, I understand. It's similar to like I'm stuck in traffic. That's how they responded. Like I said, I'm stuck in traffic. Like, nah, I just I'm like, bro, the police not even here yet. Like, that's how fresh this mm-hmm. is. And I still thought they hit all of y'all up. I didn't. I got people who who and I'm not gonna put on elbow. You did it before too. I plenty of people did it. Plenty of people did it to me. I'm like, bro, you just had to go back home because you forgot your shoes or your socks, and and you didn't even let me know you was gonna be late. I'm like, bro, I almost died, and I still let somebody know I was gonna be late. Like, <laughs> I almost died. Literally, yeah. y'all ain't see that accident. I could have died, and I still let people know. So. Remember what I said about harshness? Yeah. People aren't on that level like I am. Oh and I don't head. and I don't say it to be, and you know I don't say it to be narcissistic, because I say it to myself. I told myself, I said, if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have did that, I would have told myself, self, myself would have been like, huh. And I've been like, self, if you didn't text those people, then you was in the wrong. And I'm like, you're right, self. That's what I would have said to myself. True. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm on myself like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just to a different standard. That's crazy. Yeah. And I, like I said, I don't understand people, people not like that though. I just don't understand why when people have bad experiences with jobs though, they be trying to keep that job. You ever seen those TikToks mm-hmm. where people are like, well, my job tried to fire me over a TikTok and they go to TikTok to try to keep their job. I'm like, bro, if your job tried to fire you over something that you believe is okay, would you why go to you- TikTok to try to defend it or would you just let it go? That's funny. That's funny. I'm probably just gonna let it go. Just bounce out, bro. But a lot of people on the earth will like, they're like, ah, I gotta, I've been here for three years. It's that I can't I'm, believe I can do better. That's what it is. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a loyal employee. I just, I, I sacrifice for this company. And am I, like, they don't give a they freak, They don't care, bro. bro. Did you make the latte or not? Right, bro. I feel it. I feel it, bro. But I feel like people, people stay at those things because they, they don't want to go through the process of going, uh, let me go back. I take my steps back. They feel like they regress him. I'm just like, honestly, if you find a good job. I mean, if you was. That's more progress you get. If you, if you was at like, if you're a high level tech entrepreneur, not entrepreneur, I mean, but like, you know, like you do something like you're a programmer. You working at Facebook.com. Yeah. Like you do something like that. If you establish, basically, that's what I'm saying. If you have mm-hmm. a career, that's different. But you yeah, got Starbucks, you go to Dutch Bros. <laughs> or a different, a different Starbucks. A different Starbucks. Like, you got options, sweetie. You have plenty of options, I promise. That's I right. promise if you were really that good of an employee, you could have been a whack employee. So if you're that good, 
and you've been there for two and a half years, you could leave that Starbucks, go be a manager at another Starbucks. You yeah, could be yeah, store manager yeah. by now. You just not. I don't get that. That situation yeah. just wasn't. Yeah. But a lot of people are stagnant though, and they don't care to. They don't okay. care to grow. I would say a lot of people are comfortable uh, uh, being where they are. Yeah. Two, that guy probably was just being petty, to be honest though. Maybe because she left my man's on red for like four days. <laughs> Because he said, hey, can you work today? Y'all see it in the screenshot, but for the listeners, he said, hey, can you work today 11 to 3? And then she didn't respond. Oh, almost a week later, she like, hey, I didn't see that. Sorry. But anyway, uh, I can't come to work. You ain't talked to my mans in almost a week, and you come and ask him for a favor? Mm. Come on. Mm-mm. Come on. How did that sound? Yeah, when you working, bro, your manager hit you. You better talk to them like the, they did the queen. Yeah, they bro. They do favors for you. And I mean, and even so if you, and things. even if you, even if you couldn't work for real, why you didn't hit him right then? Like, don't mm-hmm. lie. You just ignored it. We managers, you realize managers used to be employees too, so they know about they what's know. my job. It's my job. Let me. They know about blocking your job's number. They know about that stuff. So when you, when you, you know, what I'm saying when you don't respond, they know what you was doing, and now you want him, him to do you favor. You like, no, nigga, girl, you probably was mad. You let me on red in front of my girl. My girlfriend, why you leave me on red? I told her I run this store. She nah. said, "No, you don't." And now she got proof. And watch, watch this. She gonna respond right now. She gonna respond right now. Right now she is. Four days later, my girlfriend <laughs> broke up with me. I had to run that store by myself. Right <laughs> from one thirty to three. Where was you at? Nah, bro. Nah. No cap though. I still don't see nothing wrong with him saying fine coverage. Yeah. I thought, but I thought that's what she did say. She did say she's fine coverage. She said, I try to find people to help. Like, that wasn't, I'm going to find. She didn't take no responsibility. Uh, it, I don't no know. cap, though, too. That joint was two days in advance. I know this is something that I got I got a responsibility. I'm a fumble in my responsibility. I'm doing everything I can to make up for that. She said, I'm going to try my best. <laughs> That's what she said. She said, I'm going to try my best to find help or see if I can find whatever she said. And he said, I need you to find coverage. Like he was like affirmative with me. Like, hey, there's no, I'm going to try it. Like find coverage. You need, that's what we need to do. I'm not about to be sitting here making my job harder because you want to be unorganized. Yeah. And that's not even reasonable to ask a manager. They have a job just like you do. Their job is to schedule it and get there and get employees that are going to stick to the schedule. You want to be last minute, that's fine. It's a responsibility. You want to do that more. I don't expect your life to be Starbucks. I don't expect this to be your whole life. But find another person to cover your job. Mm. That's that's just that's a, what a responsible adult would do. I feel like, but you know, this generation is a little bit different, bro. Mm. We're different. Just we take everything. Game. We take everything to TikTok. Mm. <laughs> and every company knows brand is more important than than anything. Like perception is reality, mm-hmm. and so psh, it's a it's a fight between trying to stick by your company morals and company values and like getting in front of the stuff. Like Planet Fitness, <laughs> that girl got uh. They fired that one girl. Yeah, I'm time. like, yo, she got 300,000 followers. Y'all have 300 followers on y'all on Planet Fitness. Like y'all should have y'all should have flipped Made that around. Her and, the yeah, social media yeah, manager. Yeah, she should have been a social media manager or manager TikTok or whatever. But y'all y'all fired her. So that's that that example is just bad. You know, that's old people running it. That's running rich, the that's rich white so man. Old. That's rich white man. But I think on the other side, it's like I'd be seeing it, bro. When like uh, 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 people like this, they get in front of, they, they go and post and they tag Starbucks or they have bad experiences with Walmart and they tag Walmart. Walmart like, we got to get in front of this because like, you know, perception is reality. Everybody think Walmart's a bad company. Like we have to, TikTok is the biggest platform right now. We have to get in front of it. But then they're like, mm-hmm. y'all, don't, y'all are not responsible adults though. Y'all was in the wrong. Y'all was in the wrong. It was his manager. She was, he was tripping or for, from Whataburger or something. He was tripping. Oh, that's going to be a clip. Let me say that again. <laughs> I I don't like that I just said it out loud. I would just focus on what I was about to say anyway. <laughs> uh, so there was a video I saw. A manager at Whataburger got mad at his employee because she didn't put the buns together correctly. Apparently, it's supposed to go ketchup on one side, mustard on the other side. She said, but it's all ketchup and mustard mixed in together. Why does it matter? And she's on TikTok Live saying this stuff, and he sends her home right there, right then and there. And everybody was saying, like, why he tripping, why he tripping. And there was this black lady in the back, and she had, like, a, a look on her face. Everybody took that look on her face as, like, even the black lady tired of him. Like, because the black lady was, like, a, the, the assistant manager or something, mm-hmm. and he was a store manager, something like that. Everybody like, why the black lady tripping on him? And I'm just thinking, like, but did her training say ketchup on the right, buster on the left? Yeah. Okay. That's the Whataburger way. So, <laughs> what, right. <laughs> right. That's the Whataburger way. Like, what do you expect? 
What you what like what you think? Like you can't come in today, <laughs> you can't come into their company and then try and cut corners. My this man, is how we got to set. You came, they like, hey, this is how we do it across all of our 300 locations. And we've been doing it like this since 1987. And that's why we still and in business. And you are a sophomore in high school getting a, a solid C average. Go come in and be like, but it's all going into the same place. And you, like Mr. Whataburger himself will come, hey, yo, she just changed it all. Yo, hey, everybody, she's right. she's change, right. change our recipe. Change our recipe. It's going to the same place. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I never thought about that. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> and now here I am, the CEO of Whataburger for 15 years. <laughs> right. I'm so dumb. Wow. <laughs> Everybody hire, make this girl the CEO. Make her the CEO. Make She's right. so she smart. Thought, she thought she was going to get it. Uh, she thought she was going to be the TikTok, <laughs> right. a TikTok uh, social media manager position. <laughs> right, bro. <She's> like, <laughs> but they was, and it's just the fact that they was in the comments, like really taking her side. They was like, yeah, facts. facts that's so facts, stupid. That's facts. so dumb. But I mean, if somebody come in your room and they move your TV to the other side of the room, you're going to be like, uh-uh, my TV's supposed to be right yeah, exactly. there. Exactly. What do you move my TV for? And they're going to say, they, they say something like, well, because now when you lay, you can see it easily. It don't matter. That's what it I don't matter it. what's logical to you. It's how I wanted it. That's why this man spent his millions of dollars, you know, building the business that he built and how, running it how he want to run it. I and, then he had, and then he did obviously did a good job. I'm sorry, but he did a good job of hiring his culture by setting somebody that's going to say, dude, you're going to do it the Whataburger way, which mm-hmm. we just made that up. But <laughs> you're going way. to do it the Whataburger way. And she way. like, but it's stupid. He like, go home. Well, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the black lady, let me get her. <laughs> <laughs> he sent her but home. And they was all like, you should quit. You should quit. You should quit. No, and you should not be this stupid. It was funny, bro. She showed it not quit. And what that told me is she didn't quit because she knows she couldn't get another job. Though. Where? <laughs> Acting like that, bro. Like that was viral. That your right. mess up was viral. Damn, I'm not hiring you at McDonald's. Yeah, bro. Nigga, do it the and, McDonald's way. And remember what we said last podcast, the bro. The style. Remember what we said last podcast. You get everybody to agree with your dumb opinion. Now you think you're yeah, smart. No, whole... it's a bunch of bozos to get the same dumb thing all dumped together. Like yeah. <laughs> You don't have to do it their way. Right. Like, and, they, and I'm like, look at your conversation. They all either work at McDonald's or are unemployed. Everybody, right. everybody in this conversation that's agreeing with you, bro. Yeah, we know for a fact they McDonald's is whack. They McDonald's is whack. They like the one on the west side, bro. Right. Girl, you don't got to put the fries in there for that long. Right. No. <laughs> this is a potato. This is a potato. <laughs> What's up with you? Is it a fry? Oh, look at that, Kays. Girl, they say you're supposed to put it in there for three minutes, but that's not how I do it. You put it in for 215. No, no. That is how you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's not even from Kays. That's, like, that's from the, the Southern the Nevada CD, Health District. That's the CDC said that. <laughs> that's CDC. Is that CDC? Oh, they had the COVID. What does easy do? That's, 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 that's uh, FDA. Uh, FDA. Yeah. What do you mean FDA products? I don't have any drugs. There's no medical products in the peak sauce. You don't know that's out. Oh this is not a TikToker. He don't really know about TikTok stuff. I don't know. I'm trying, but every single time I post a TikTok, he be like, "You trying to be like me?" You're like, "No, I'm just trying to post TikTok." No, like, you be trying to be like me though. I can tell by your TikToks. I'm like, ah, he watched too much of my page. Oh my god. You be trying though. I'm like, it's clearly not me, but that's so funny. It, it looks like you know what I'm saying. If I started sharing your stuff, they'd be like, "Who's knock off this?" <laughs> that's what they would say. But here's the thing though: like, the, the, my content can't be too different from yours. Why? That's conflict of interest. Oh my god, bro, that doesn't even make no sense. What you just said. Conflict of interest. That's the opposite of what conflict of interest is. I'm pushing. I'm pushing your brand towards another part of the brand. That's the. That's the opposite of that, though. Conflict of interest is when you guys do the same thing and it conflicts. So it's the opposite of what you just said. Wait, what? You do it the same thing as me is conflict of interest. Oh, I it's I like mean, that's, <laughs> <laughs> you cousin. See, look at you. You think that when I said too serious, like oh, I know what to do, dude. <laughs> <laughs> If we know you're nobody in my size, for you, man. Like, no, nah, a conflict, like, for example, your massage brand, that doesn't conflict because it's different. If you went and started a podcast, that's conflict of interest. It's like, yo, this is the exact podcast. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Yeah, so what you say did it make sense? So stop making TikTok. I mean, I don't care what you do. I'm just going <laughs> to, as long as you know, I'm going to comment every time I see a TikTok about For You page. You try to be like me so bad. It makes it for you, page. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna keep doing it. That doesn't make sense, bro. People used to trip when they would be on a for you page. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I follow I, you. I see people on the for you page with like 200 likes, bro. 200 likes? Yeah. It makes it on the for you page. Why do people not understand how the for you page works? Oh, everything is from the for you page. If you get one like, it's on the for you page. Where do mm. you think you got it from? They searched your page and scrolled all the way down to find that? I was a follower. So what hap- how do you grow pages with zero followers then? I don't know, as YouTube. As YouTube. Yeah, they push it into a small audience. Excuse me. They push it into a small audience, and if it does well, then they push it to a bigger audience. That's the basis of algorithm. And then you have different categories to like expand on that more. But that's just the basic of how, which, by the way, I actually 
don't think that that's how Reels works anymore. I think Reels changed their algorithm, mm. and that's why it's it's bad. But that's our podcasters don't want to hear that. That's, yeah, that's no. nerd stuff. They're like, man, call us here, man. Thomas made a new segment to close us out. Oh yeah, introduce yeah, your yeah, own yeah. segment, Thomas. Let me get a refresh. Let me get a refresh. What do you gotta get a refresh? You made this up. I know, but I was bro. I thought this at five o two p.m. How was the river? Anyway. Anyway, I'm about to listen to more beer batter fish if you don't hurry up. Uh, we got a new segment. Uh, uh, we have a new segment. It is titled, Did I Ever Tell You the Time? Wait, no. Did I Ever Tell hey, You wait, the Time? Hey, wait, pause. Am I supposed to cut all this out? Because last time you said cut that out and you started over. You I, took it I, in? I, left, I left it in. So uh, it has to be. You know what I'm saying? It has the authenticity. This is okay. what we do. What you going to do about it? We'll see here, fi- see here for 30 seconds of silence. Nah, because then they're going to kick off. They're going to piss off. Shh. What is that, 30? 25? Come on, bro. <laughs> anyways. Anyways. We have a new segment. It is called, Did I Ever Tell You the Time? The, 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 I can't do it, dude. We got a new podcast segment. It's called, Did I Ever Tell You About the Time? All right? The basis of this is basically, I'm going to tell you a story that might be true or might be false. And I'm going to start it with, Did I Ever Tell You About the Time that I insert whatever the scenario is? And you have to guess whether it was, I'm lying or if it's true. So basically, it's like two truths and a lie, but with one truth and one lie. Or... So it's one truth or one lie. There you go. But we're going to call it, did I ever, do you remember the do time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Did I ever tell you about the time? Cool. All right. I'll start it off just to get into it. Go ahead. So, I'll do one first. Did I ever, I, just, <laughs> I don't have one. Just you go ahead. Did, did I ever tell you about the time that I made out behind the couch with, <laughs> with my mom's boyfriend's daughter? Hey, pause. We're going to do a couple of things right there. What if I just cut this as a clip and I just said, made out with the couch? Or wait, what you, you try saying? it. You try I'm it. Hold on, hold on. What if I cut this and you just said, what did I tell you about the time I made out with my mom? I'm going to cut that right there and we're going to see how that does as a clip. No, no, no. Would you see how it does? You know what I'm saying? Put it for your page. Put it for your page. You're not going to believe it. Come on now. It's the algorithm. They're not going to believe it. They're not going to believe it. They might, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm dead. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do it again. Get the clip. No, nah, I can. Yeah, I can. Yeah, okay, that'll cool. work. All right, fine. I'm gonna say that's true. Why? Because yeah, that doesn't sound like something you would make up. Really? Yeah. You no, know, it wouldn't be. That actually happened. Yeah, I know. And like, now I was thinking about that a couple of days ago. And I'm just like, now what if it, their relationship worked out? Yeah. That make me just if you a, if you made a, a if, coil if you uh if you were to make up a story. I don't think it would sound like that. Yeah. That's just why I did that was true. But I actually, my aunt, we was having a conversation with my aunt about uh, what if I, if, what if she had a boyfriend and they got married and I like his daughter. And she was like, are y'all the same age? I'd be like, yeah. He's like, well, shoot, yeah, they blood. That's what she said. Whoa. And so you'd be just double cousins. I mean, I just think <laughs> this generation has a lot less of that because I have older family who have plenty of double cousins. Double cousins. Yeah, like that's that was. I won't say it was common, but I I know a couple people, so it gotta be kind of common. Mm. So, I don't know. You got regrets, bro. That like that's just because not because he did try to keep his daughter away from me. I don't know why. I was very square. She was the one that was being a hoe. So, bro, <laughs> why you saying it in reverse, bro? <laughs> she was the one that was being all thotty. She was the one that came on to me. Uh-huh. If we being real, we was just sitting there. Oh wait, Pocahontas. is this still part of the truth or false story? Because yeah. that part was false. I mean, what? That she came on to you. I know that part was fake. You, Whoa. Look at you. Okay, that used to be me. Look at you. Stop it. Can we insert a young Thomas <laughs> picture? And this, this is what he came up. We're gonna insert that picture. Okay. This is what she came on to? This is how everybody looked in the West Side. So come on now. Uh, <laughs> I was on the West Side too, bro. You see my picture? I was fly, bro. Okay. No, insert my picture no, with no. my braids. Let me don't, come on. Nah, don't show. Don't show. I wanted one with the braids, bro. I was fly. You better show my worst picture. About to show his meat mid mid picture. Like, come bro, on, he was bald. You can send me which one to post. You I was using the one that you sent me. All right, fine. You bald though. Yeah. No, I wasn't. I had braids. I'm using the one I had braids. Oh, okay, fine. But you was bald. Can we get a clip of him being bald? No, we're not using the clip of him being bald. He's so funny being bald. Over here being bald. You're bald though. I ain't bald. I ain't never been bald. You were like your last photo shoot. I ain't never been bald. You just started growing your hair again. I ain't never been You should get locks, bro. You would look so ugly. Okay, bro. I would look better in comparison. Like, bro. (laughs) (laughs) You would look so ugly. I'm telling you now, bro. But anyways. We was we was on the couch. It was back on the west side. We was on the couch. We was watching Pocahontas on VHS. Mm-hmm. And we were just chilling. She was on the couch. I was on the floor. I was being nice. I was being yellow, man. She gets up to go to the hallway and look in the hallway. She was over. She mm-hmm. like listening. 
And she come back. She's like, all right, come here, come here. She goes behind the couch. I was like, I can't see the TV from there. What you talking about? She's like, come on, come on, come on behind the couch. I go behind the couch. This girl makes me lay on my back. And she like mounts on top of me. And she's like making out with me. We are nine, by the way. We are nine years old. This is happening. She's making out with me. And then we hear a noise. And she gets up. And she goes to the hallway and check. And she'll come back and she ran out of me and she's like, hey, put your hands right here. Put your hands right here. But I'm just like, yo, and I'm sitting there. I'm not kissing her back. I'm just sitting there like taking it like, I know for a fact we're not supposed to be doing this. And if your dad sees me like this, he's a gangster. Like he was talking to me crazy. Like, like not crazy, but like he's like a, like I can tell he's strict. Yeah. I was watching, I was watching, um, I was watching Eminem lyric videos. Mm -hmm. I was trying to learn the lyrics to I Am Not Afraid by Eminem, bro. And he walked in, you watching this? I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah, like it's Eminem. He's a, it's a good song. He was like, nah, I would never let my daughter watch them like that. The way he be talking about that. Have you listened to the lyrics of that song? You know about the He's Illuminati. Like, yeah, I'm trying to learn them. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying. I'm writing them down. I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to impress my friends. It's cool. Dang. He's like, even you know about that. You know about the devil. But I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, just I, this is a good song. That's crazy. I thought I had a good message. I'm not afraid. That's crazy. But nah. I was like, I knew if he was a catches, bro, it's over with. Yeah, bro. my ass getting beat. I mean, oof, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> he, he on my head. He's on my neck. That's crazy. But bro. that happened. And what's crazy is next day, she was like, "If you don't let me play with you, I'm gonna tell your cousin what we did last night." I was like, "He's like, hey, I was like, what? Yo. I was like, what? I was like, yeah, bruh, that's crazy." But it's crazy. So was she cute though? She was cute. Oh, okay. She she she. What type of cute was she? She still cute now. I don't know. Cute. Or she she like she was cute as a kid, and she like she was cute as a kid. Like I don't know. She was, she was a cute though. kid. Like was she cute? Or was she fine? You know what I'm saying? Like because you got potential. Like you. Oh, she's cute. Or it's like oh, she like 19, 20 now. She I probably thought. I probably thought she was fine back in then. But I don't know yeah. what she looked like now. Yeah, but y'all so you had low standards, bro. I mean, you were kind of ugly. Though. It was like everybody, everybody with a booty was cute to you. That's crazy. Even the guys. It was, oh, a, nah. thick, it was a thick no, boy. No, no. He's a thick no. boy. He's like, oh, he kind of like a girl. You, you know what I'm saying? He kind of like a girl. He checks up in the boxes. Ah, I like him. I'm getting tired of you, bro. This lore that I was like a sexually confused child. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, I'm not saying you were sexually confused. I'm just saying you look sexually confused. That's crazy. Did you see yourself? I was a kid. I was nine. <laughs> Have you ever looked back and seen your pictures, bro? Yeah, I was just a cute you, little kid. You thought you were cute? You thought you were cute? That's how you would describe yourself as cute? I'm so tired of this. That's crazy. I'm going to go home and kill myself. That was... <laughs> not the slewer slide. I'm about to commit super slide. Slewer slipper slide. I'm about to commit super Bro, super slide. it's okay. I'm going to unalive myself. I don't think you're that ugly no more. Get your head off. You were an ugly kid. That's all I'm saying. You was an ugly kid. I really wasn't, bro. You really believe that? I was cute. I was a cute kid. Okay, kid, we got to make a pact, bro. I promise on everything. When I see your kids, if they ugly, I'm going to tell you. I, was, I promise I'm going to tell you. Bro. I got to. I got to because you oh. obviously don't got a good understanding of what a cute kid look like. That's crazy. So I'm going to let you know straight up. You really like, trying hey. to bring me down, bro. Top is the third. You was a just take it back. <laughs> you got the receipts there, bro. You were here. Just, take it back to the baby store. Yeah, bro. Just, just take it back yeah. where he came from, bro. Shove it back up in there. If I have a Shove it back in the cooch, bro. Because he's he not it. I'm going to be able to tell you who's going to get married and who's who going who to be single, too. That's crazy. I got you. I'm going to look. I'm going to be like, yeah. He ain't going to make it. He ain't going to make it. crazy that you say that. Yeah, he ain't going to be gay or he's going to be single. Yeah. <laughs> I was broke. You just show me a kid. He going to be single. <laughs> That's crazy. Because it ain't the girls, you know what I'm saying? But it just, I got you, bro. I, I, I promise. All right, me to you? Me to you, too? Yeah. Okay, I ain't cool. going to have the other kids, though. Mine's are fine. So, but you, but you know what I'm saying? You can let me You're go. crazy. They're going to be, they're going to, and even if they're ugly, bro, you got to admit, them kids going to be smart as frick. Your kids? They're going to be so smart, bro. Mm -hmm. I hope they got good social cues, though. That's the only thing I worry no, about. No, your kids are gonna be autistic. But I just I'm okay if they're autistic as long as they got social cues. I, that's the only thing. Your like, kids have Asperger's. They're gonna be playing the violin, play video game with their feet at the same time. Yeah, bro. Like, hey, what you doing in there? <laughs> oh, dad's gonna beat my <laughs> dad. I know I'm not supposed to put my phone in the controller. I never said that. I was <laughs> he, he, got, he anxious. He got Asperger's. I was just trying something new, dad. I was yeah, testing bro. my brain. I was just testing. I was yeah, just testing. like. As long as they, as long, I'm okay with that. I was just seeing what I was capable of. <laughs> 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 
Son, Dez, Dez Jr. It's okay, Dez Jr. Dez Jr. Dez. Maj, Maj Jr., calm me down. If, he's, if we have a Dez Jr., we're going to call him Dez 2. Dez 2? <laughs> we're going to call him Dez 2, bro. It's going to be Dez 2. Dez it has two. to. Hey, Dez 2, sit down. Like, yes, father. <laughs> They're going to call me father, too. All right, nah, bro. He ain't without a B. He's like, sit down. He's going to be mad. <laughs> Asperger, bro. He just he playing the computer. Sit down. <laughs> yeah, he gonna act like that. I know he is, bro. Bro, just being. Just I know doing he is. Stuff. You don't even mean to be like. Like I said, as long as as long as he got social cues, though, Mm-mm. I'm cool. As long as he could pick up when somebody don't want to talk to him anymore, he walk away. Yeah, that's that's not gonna be cool. talking about. He gonna walk like this because yeah, you can teach that, bro. You can teach social cues. I mean, you can, but yeah. Anyway, that was a good episode. That was good. We always have good episodes, though, I think. Uh. Thank you for watching the Burger Hour Dang. podcast. <laughs> Terrible episode. Thank you for tuning in to the Burger Hour podcast. I thought that was a great episode. Don't you remember that part where we said that all gay men should just go and find a woman because they have to try it or they really don't know? Yeah, I remember that. Because that was clickbait. Uh, you we, we did that last time and I didn't even post the clip. <laughs> I didn't post the clip. Let's see what works this time. Yeah, let's see what works this time. I don't know. We got to go viral somehow, bro. I feel like controversy. Thank you guys so much for watching the Burger Out Podcast. Make sure you tune in next week, every Friday at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., or 7 a.m. Or 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, whatever time. I I drop it at midnight. I drop it at midnight. But yeah, just tune in. uh, Just keep coming back. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, after you finish this episode, don't click off. Watch another episode. We got plenty of them on there for you and more to come. Have a great special spontaneous, beautiful, and blessed week. And stay healthy, stay humble. And remember, and our, remember, our, remember our slogan? Don't be 